Hey y'all, welcome to Lions in Tarot. My name's Camille and I'm doing a daily tarot for all signs and that's every sign in the zodiac for April the 9th, 2022. Now keep in mind y'all, timing is fluid, okay? So if it fails to resonate with you for the 9th, it still may resonate in the future. And y'all already know I'm a big believer in everything happens for a reason, okay? So if it fails to resonate or if you're watching this, something you need to hear, okay? So just keep your heart open and your mind open to it. Now, I'm just going to ask y'all to please forgive me. Oh, shucks. It flipped up. Please forgive me. I'm a little tired, but this makes me feel better doing readings. So, <gasps> take a break. This flipped up, y'all. And I'm telling you, I need a break. I need to just focus on me. My body is so upset with me right now. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill exactly and y'all that flipped up <laughs> all right angel oracle deck thank you spirit guides angels ancestors and moon Ra. thank you thank you thank you what else do we need to hear for april 9th 2022 what else thank you guys for bringing me your energy you know i, I just have been all over the place working so hard and look at this ask for help from others but the sad part about it is ain't really nobody there that i can ask for help with where, I, where i'm at now but boundaries i'm learning them i'm definitely will use them future but ask for help from others all right ancestor spirit oracle deck what do you want to add to the reading thank you spirit guys thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you i hope you guys had a beautiful wonderful marvelous and blessed day the ancestor spirit oracle deck Thank you, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, in the moon world. What else do we need to hear? April 9th, 2022. But yeah, I said I'm going to start with my readings. You guys, I'm going to start just when I, as soon as I come home. Even when I go back home, like literally as soon as I come home, I'm just going to get into the readings because they make me feel better. They, they talk to me, literally, because I need to take a break. You know, they talk to me, but they, they may be helping you too, so shine brightly stand out be proud individuality yes shine brightly y'all make sure you shine that light bright okay and then we've got the ancestor spirit oracle deck oh and this plopped up too let go um that's for me it's time for me to let it go all right thank you spirit gods angels ancestors in the moon world what else do you need to hear ash <laughs> Y'all, we got jumpers. Like, literally, we got mad jumpers today. Ash. All right. The Affirmators Tarot deck. That's the spirits. They talking to me. They talking to y'all, too. You know, we all have our own situation. And I'm sure a lot of you guys need to take a break, too, right? The Affirmators Tarot deck. What clarification do you want to give us, spirits? Amun. Ra. Thank you so much. What all do we need to hear? What else? What else? What else? But I know once I get in the shower too, I feel so much better. Then I'm just going to get my butt in the bed. But I might have me a little glass of wine. I'm going to be honest. It helps me sleep a little better. All right. So the Affirmator's Tail Deck. A three of wands. Yes. Three of wands. Fire energy. And... Ten of Wands, you're working too hard. Oh. Y'all, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's talking to me too. But you too, you're working too hard. You're doing too much. Oh, and the Ace of Wands. See, when you create a plan of action, look at what you can accomplish. And we got all fire energy here, y'all. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And I have fire in my chart. I'm sure a lot of you guys got fire in your chart as well. Let's get into this reading. Take a break, okay? I'm going to say that loud and proud. Take a break. 82, of course, it's an action card, okay? Take a break. It's okay to take a break and enjoy your creations, to take a moment from your busy schedule, to get off the treadmill of life. To appreciate and acknowledge all that you have created, achieved, released, or experienced before rushing on to the next thing. To be in the moment and enjoy where you are. To take a breath and regather your mind, body, and spirit. To recalibrate, appreciate, and celebrate. 
to decide on what you really want to experience next. If you take a moment, you are not going to miss out. Perhaps you have just completed a big project, manifested something significant in your life, released an old way of being, or just been burning the candle at both ends. That's me. Now is the time to take some time out before rushing on to the next thing. You did it. Enjoy yourself and recalibrate. Go on a vacation. Book a massage that I will be doing. Take long walks in nature. Go away for a rejuvenating weekend to recharge and replenish. All right, and then we've got the... Angel Oracle deck stating to us, ask for help from others. Y'all had to lift that card up, honey. It was in the bag. It's not necessary to do everything on your own. Your angels are asking you to reach out to those around you for assistance. By allowing others to lend a hand, you greatly increase your chances for success and your plans will begin to move forward to help. The help you receive may also include important information provided by knowledgeable individuals. The stress of doing too much can create both physical and emotional health challenges for you. Surround yourself with loving family and friends who are willing and able to lighten your load and you'll begin to feel much better. And then we got Sean Brightly. The Hulu Wigmen have lived in the southern highlands of the Papua New Guinea for the past few thousands of years. The Hulu wig men are ferocious warriors who wear wild, elaborate wigs that are created from their own hair and beautiful colored feathers. Their extravagant appearance includes face paints, face includes painted faces, an ornate bone, and bamboo nose piercings. At around 14, the boys go and live at wig school in an all-male without any contact with females. In wig school, the Hulu boys learn with learn about hunting, building, and the traditions of the Hulu wigmen. They also learn to grow their hair and make their wigs. The wig making process is extremely important for the males of the Hulu as their individuality is expressed through their extravagant wigs and face paint. A Hulu man must make all of his wigs before he marries. The young men also take part in ceremonial rituals, have magic spells put on them, and follow strict diets to help their hair grow. The ancestors speak. It's time, beautiful one, to light up and shine brightly. Like the Hulu Wigman, be proud of who you are and what you stand for. During these trying times, you are much needed here on earth. It can be scary to shine brightly or stand out and be different, but do not hide your light or dull yourself down. You are not alone in this. The universe is supporting you and helping you shine as brightly as you can so others can benefit from your positive energy and the divinatory meaning. Try to show others the way toward their own positive life path. Be a candle or light in the darkness. Lead the way so others can see where they need to go to find their own light. It won't always be easy, but you must be strong and remain positive right now. You no longer have to hide your gifts or who you are. Be proud of your unique spirit and shine as brightly as you can. All right, and then we've got Ash, the Spirit of Nature Oracle deck. Right now, the, the song in my head is so shine bright tonight. You're beautiful like diamonds in the sky. I might have to walk outside just to give me some fresh air. I think I am. I think I'm going to do that. All right. The, the, the green man's wisdom. Strength grows from deep roots. Strength comes in many forms and is often wrongly confused with power. It can also allude to endurance. The ability to survive in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds, one of the most powerful characteristics of humanity, strength endlessly represents itself in the darker pages of our history and is often exhibited in the desire to protect a piece of land or to die for the needs of one's country. Such feelings arise from a sense of rootedness, of belonging to a particular place, inner strength, the gift of a spiritual presence within each individual, also lends itself to the imagery of a tree whose life-giving sap courses through it like blood, drawing on the energy of the earth to give it the strength to grow. Growth itself is another aspect of strength, since without inner resources, we may cease to grow and may find ourselves increasingly weakened. Whatever you may be looking for, Ash appearing in a reading instructs you to consult your roots and to be sure of your inner direction before you act. Okay, yes. Okay. And that's all I've been thinking about today is creating my plan. And look, this fire energy is like, I, I got the three of wands. Okay, so I can definitely, I'm a magician. 
I can make it happen, you know, with the shake of a wand, but I got three. And then Ten of Wands is telling me I'm working too hard. And Ace of Wands is telling me, create your plan and you got it. So, you guys, that's what these cards are telling me. Let, let me read it and see what it tells you. You are the architect of your life and you construct planet you in a lot of ways you might not have thought possible. Embrace change. Keep your heart open and get inspired by sorts of visionary plans muggles might consider pipe dreams. Pies in the sky are simply insane because everyone is supposed to just work boring jobs in the monotonous lifelong pursuit of paying down debt. If you could wave a wand or three of them and create the ultimate adventure for yourself, what would it be? This mojo generator is giving you permission to make it real. Overseas travel often indicated, no terms or conditions apply, redeemable at any time, valid with any and every other offer. Here's the affirmation. I claim my right to live an ideal, dreamy, straight from the Pinterest board life. And I do it with ease and class to boot. And then we got the 10 of wands where you're working too hard, but you're working so hard, you can't appreciate your accomplishments. So, you've climbed Achievement Peak. Congrats! You now get to enjoy everything that comes with being on top, namely endless parades of annoying burdens and a complete lack of free time. Ah. It's true that achievement often pairs with overwhelm and a nice earthy cheese, but it doesn't have to. If you're on the verge of burnout, save some of your wit for things that don't put gray in your hair. Delegate responsibilities, prioritize your to-do list, and fend off any thieves who try to steal your free time. You only get one life, not counting reincarnation. But let's just delegate those tasks when we come to them. Here's the affirmation. I give myself permission to be the kind of do-it-all, constantly prepared superhuman who also sometimes throws their phone in a ditch and takes two naps in a row. And then we've got the Ace of Wands. Like a lightning bolt from the blue. This card is a zap of inspiration propelling you in the direction of a new or freshly Febreze dream. It seems your little engine is revving with potential right now. And here's your sign to act on that right away. New project, start it. New relationship, continue it. New revelations about the core of your identity, um, journal about it. Regardless of specifics, you're on the cusp of something exciting. But it's up to you to get yourself post-cusp. In the words of someone who isn't Gandhi, be the starting pistol you wish to hear in the world. Enter this race and you're sure to win. How about them odds? Here's the affirmation. I say yes to the divine spark that sets me ablaze and I carpe every damn dim. Okay, so let's just get into this reading, y'all. Oh, as I say that, I just feel like I need to just massage my neck. I've been lifting a whole lot of stuff. But you guys, it is time to take a break, okay? Take a break. Ask for help from others. Shine brightly as possible because you are a guiding light for someone else and you don't even probably know it. Okay, stop overworking. Take some time because I'm going to take this advice too. Tomorrow I'm taking a break. I'm going to sit down. What I don't, what I'm unable to accomplish, it will be there. And whoever comes in, if they're unable to accomplish it, that is on them. But I did what I can do. Okay, and I'm going to take a break. I'm going to create my action plan. So how about you? Okay, it is time to create your action plan. All right, you want something new? You want something different? You've got to create the plan and then you've got to set that in motion because that's what I see and I get from this reading. It's time. Okay, the strength doesn't have to come from power. Let it come from within so it can guide you and help you to get to where you know you need to be. You deserve to live the life that you think of, that you dream of, okay? You deserve it. I know I deserve it too. We deserve it. So it's time for us to start putting in that work, okay? Are you with me? I'm with you, okay? I will be putting in that work because it is time, all right? Thank you so much for coming to Lions and Tarot. I want y'all to follow me on Instagram. It's Lions underscore Den underscore Tarot. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. It's Camille in the Lions Den. Thank you so much for bringing me your energy. You guys, take a break. Think about yourself. Stop burning your body because your body is what you need to survive. It is your temple, okay? Be precious. Be good to it. And create that plan so you can make it happen and keep on moving, okay? So people who lack appreciation will then see what it's like to miss you when you're gone.